Hello again, this is Pork Chop, and we welcome to the show. Today we have a special guest coming on to talk about the resolution that Kershaw County Council just passed on the Second Amendment. And he sent an email to all the county councilmen asking them some questions. Hey, stay tuned for the show. You're really going to like it. Today is January 19, 2020, and I, my name is Pope Chop, and today on today's show, we got a very, very special guest. His name is Jeff Maddox, and he has been an activist in the Kershaw County area for a very long time. Welcome, Jeff, to the show. Well, thanks for having me on, Pope Chop, and by the way, thank you for what you're doing to expose the truth about this County Council and the Second Amendment. So Jeff, tell, tell us why you wrote this here email and what kind of response you had because I don't understand that it, you haven't gotten any so far. Well, after the meeting on Tuesday night, the 14th, uh, the following day, I, I had so many questions that I had to, to hadn't gotten answered. Um, during the public comment section, uh, Julie Burns always says at the beginning of the meeting what the public comments are all for and we, we you might show that right now. Isn't that interesting Jeff how they, the public comment is. Here, let's stop just for a minute and listen to Judy Burns explain what the public comment is all about. Members of the public to share information with council not a time for debate or the exchange of question and answers. I ask you also to keep your comments within the, the purpose of this uh, body and maintain uh, the, the decorum and the serious businesses that we carry for here on behalf of the people of Madden. So you see, that's it. They, they don't take any questions and you got, you, like when Pope Chop went in there, uh, they, I don't think they're going to allow Pope Chop ever to come in there again. They don't like Pope Chop. What do you think, Jeff? But the, so the public comments, you don't, we don't get to answer, uh, ask any questions. They don't have to answer anything. So how are you going to understand where, who, where a politician stands? And so that prompted me to send an email directly to each and every one of them. And to this day, we haven't gotten any response. Let's read that. So I ask that each of you take some time out of your busy schedules and provide the people with your interpretation of an individual's right to keep and bear arms. I believe it is important that people know exactly how their representatives view basic individual rights in order to make informed decisions in the voting booth. Are there any limits to the right of an individual or a group of individuals to own and use in their defense or in the defense of others any weapons they see fit to secure their well-being and liberties? with of course the exception of using force against another in violation of their God-given rights. Are any current gun laws, permits, fees, and other such rules and regulations infringements on the rights of individuals to keep and bear arms? Please list those that are, that are and those that are not and why. Where is the line between infringement and non-infringement? Please be specific. 
Please do not cite court rulings as justification unless you would also abide by a court ruling approving stripping the individual's right to keep and bear arms by either the threat of violence or its use, if so ruled. I applaud your effort to bring this conversation to the public forum where it can be discussed in the public square and the people's representatives have the opportunity to inform them of your knowledge of the individual's rights you hold in your hands and I look forward to reading your thoughts on this critical issue of liberty and freedom for all. Thank you in advance for your timely response. And of course we have not seen any timely response. As a matter of fact, today is the 19th of January 2020. Uh, the email was sent out on the 15th of January. So that's been uh, four days now and we've seen not a single response. So what do you, why do you think they don't want to answer these here questions, Jeffy? I mean, it don't make no sense to it. In fact, it's pretty straightforward. They don't want to draw no line in the concrete, I don't guess. No, pork chop, I really don't. I've learned the hard way that politicians do not like to be nailed down, do not like to put any promises on paper or and all. Uh, they, generally speaking, they're not going to talk to you. They don't really care about you. It's all about their own interest. Yeah, politicians, they don't want to be nailed down. They want to have to, you know, just say this and say that and don't really even mean nothing. And so how is anybody going to represent anybody if you don't know how they're going to represent you? It don't make no sense. So, yeah, you're saying the same thing I said in my last video. There ain't no line in the concrete. They don't want to draw no lines. Is that correct? No pork chop, there's no lines in the concrete, that's for sure. So unless they want to uh, answer this, which apparently none of them are going to answer any of these questions, and then public comment in the meetings, you can't uh, get an interaction. So you can ask the questions, but they don't have to answer them. If that's going to continue and out into the, the uh, in the community, if you get one of them and you start a conversation with them, it's not going to be long before they're going to look at their watch and I got to go. So, and then, even then, it's not even in a, in a public forum where, where everybody can hear it. And they're not going to get on camera and say any of this. So we don't know where the line is, Pork Chop. I think that was a very good question, Jeff. I, you know, those are the kind of questions that, that I think if if people really thought about it, they could be able to answer it. But I, maybe these politicians don't want to think about it because it'd be too scary. You're, you're right, Fort Chop. These are fundamental questions to which everybody needs to 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 understand, to ask themselves and define themselves what is an infringement and what is not an infringement. Today's the 19th of January 2020. The email was sent four days ago on the 15th, early in the morning as a matter of fact. So roughly they've, they've got five days so far. Um, there hasn't, hasn't been a single response. I thought that maybe uh, we'd have one or two because, or maybe even three because of the speeches that were made and I think you highlighted those on your last video. Uh, uh, Jimmy Jones, the, the initiator of this, uh, Ben Connell, uh, and David Snodgrass all voiced their opinion and great support for the Second Amendment. Uh, but not a single one of them have answered. Now Ju Julie Burns and Sammy Tucker and Al Bozard, they, they were silent on any of it. Now I would have expected Al Bozard to say something on it. And actually I, I expected all of them to say something, but none of, uh, those three remained silent, shall we say. Yeah, that was very interesting that they, 
those three were very quiet and you know Julie Burns ooh, great day. Oh, he, he you'd have thought he would have you know he's in the military and all that and and all why didn't he say anything it does it's just funny how he didn't say nothing about it yeah it, you know you might hope that Ben Carnell after his pretty words and all and we'll leave the link in the description or go back and listen to that my last video but Ben Cornell was the biggest supporter of the Second Amendment so let's see if he wants to do something and if he puts out these ordinances and, and then if if, uh, if Jimmy Jones and David Snodgrass and Tom Gardner, if they go, you know, support the Second Amendment, they would vote to protect it. And Julie Burns and Sammy Tucker and Al Bodog would just either have to go along or shut up. That'd be the way I'd do it. Well, Jeff, this has been a very interesting conversation and it's a topic that we could probably talk about for hours and hours. But I'm going to let you go, and I hope to have you on very soon. Thank you. Well, poor child, just keep up the good work, and I thank you for having me. So in the end, this resolution doesn't really mean much, and we found out that politicians won't answer no questions. But, so well, what are you going to do? You can contact these politicians and, and demand them to, do, to protect us some. Uh, I'm going to leave some links in the, in the description below and you guys can study up and read and, and see if you can figure out this. This is Pope Chop and I hope you enjoy coming. Thank you so very much.